Hi, my name is Elisa Fazio, and I'm one of the co-site coordinators here at Doolin Junior High Community Garden. I've been gardening here for about three years, but I've been a community garden person for about five years. Uh, when the Benedictine Monastery Garden closed, I moved here to Doolin. This is one of the only gardens in the community garden network that has all raised bed planters. You can see we all get a uh, cinder block planter that's about 20 feet by three feet. And it really makes it nice for weeding and caring so that you're not down on your hands and knees. So here at Doolin uh, Garden, we also have taken a couple of the plots that we've uh, saved for everyone's use. In this plot here, we have our herb garden. We've planted some sunflowers. We have bunch onions, parsley, rosemary, sage, oregano, and thyme. And that's for everybody to use and people just kind of help themselves have our own pomegranate and right now this year it's been so prolific it's got over 200 pomegranates on it so we're hoping for a, a very bountiful harvest and we have a quince tree and we're hoping to be planting a fig tree in within the next uh, spring planting season so that we'll be able to share figs as well. We also share our garden with a number of plots that the junior high uses. We have three teachers from Doolin that actually use um, the garden as a teaching tool for their classes. And so we often get to be out here with classes of kids and get to interact with them as well as being next to the athletic field, we get to interact with some of the students as they're just out on their recess or playing soccer or just taking some time off from their busy day. It's been pretty quiet around here without the kids, but actually a nice kind of respite during the COVID-19 times where we've had to kind of make our own little slice of uh, paradise. Um, the great thing about gardening in the desert southwest is that you can garden year round. We plant our winter gardens starting in late September, October, and then are harvesting things like lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, onions, um, cilantro, all those great winter winter garden uh, veggies. And then come, oh, late February, early March, you can put in your summer garden and tomatoes and peppers and melons and basil. My husband and I have been living on fresh tomato, mozzarella and basil salads for the last couple of weeks. And then this year we decided to put in a pollinator garden. So we've got these beautiful amaranth and devil's claw and then all the other lovely, lovely flowers that we're hoping a lot of the bees and birds will really take advantage of. So I just want to encourage people to think about gardening. And um, here at Doolin, we do have a couple of plots available and there are a number of gardens uh, throughout the uh, community garden network. What's the point of all this flying straight and narrow? I get the ride for being five minutes late. Not old.